uh, время. The Belarusian president finally commenting on events last weekend. Alexander Lukashenko claims he didn't know an opposition blogger was on board a plane that was diverted to the capital Minsk. And he's depicted international reaction as part of what he calls a hybrid war. Our ill-wishers outside and inside the country have changed their methods of attacking the state. They've crossed numerous red lines and also the limits of reason and morale. On Lukashenko's orders, a Belarusian fighter jet was sent to escort a Ryanair flight minutes before it was due to land in Vilnius in neighboring Lithuania. All the passengers were taken off, supposedly because of a bomb threat. The plane later took off without Raman Pratasevich, a 26-year-old opposition journalist, and his Russian girlfriend, Sofia. They're both in detention. Belarus's state media has aired this video of Sofia Sapiega. She says she edits a telegram channel that publishes the personal information of Belarusian policemen. On Monday, Belarusian authorities released a video of Raman Pratasevich admitting to organizing street demonstrations. His parents in exile in Poland say he had clear signs of being beaten and had been forced to make the statement. World, please stand up and help. I urge you very much because they will kill him. They will kill him. EU leaders have promised fresh economic sanctions against the Lukashenko government and a flight ban on the national carrier Belavia. But on Wednesday, Belarus's exiled opposition leader told the European Parliament she wants more than that. The response must address the situation in Belarus in its entirety, or we will all face such situations in the future, as Lukashenko is turning my country into a North Korea of Europe, non-transparent, unpredictable and dangerous. She's also condemned Belarusian authorities for allowing opposition activist Vitold Ashurak to die in prison. The 50-year-old was buried on Wednesday. His family were told he'd had a heart attack. President Lukashenko, in power since 1994, officially won a landslide victory in last August's election. The opposition said the vote was rigged and staged months of street protests, but faced a sustained police crackdown. Many activists have since fled Belarus or been jailed. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.